So we had a very good day today, the Republican Party, our country. There was no defense of what Robert Mueller was trying to defend, in all fairness to Robert Mueller, whether his performance was a bad one or a good one. I think everybody understands that. I think everybody understands what's going on. There was no defense to this ridiculous hoax, this witch hunt that's been going on for a long time, pretty much from the time I came down on the escalator with our first lady. And it's a disgrace what happened. But I think today proved a lot to everybody. In fact, some of my biggest opponents wrote things today that I wouldn't have believed they would have written, and I appreciate that they did that. This has been a very bad thing for our country. And despite everything we've been through, it's been an incredible two and a half years for our country. The administration, our president, me, we've done a great job. We've got the strongest stock market, the best unemployment numbers, the most number of people ever working in the history of our country right now, almost 160 million. Our military has been rebuilt and getting even stronger. Uh, we've done a great job, and we've done it under this terrible, phony cloud, a phony cloud, that's all it was. And they should be ashamed of themselves, absolutely ashamed. And you know who knew it was a phony cloud more than any, anyone else was Schiff and Nadler and Schumer and Pelosi, every one of them. They all knew it was phony stuff. And you look at the polls, the polls are showing it maybe more than anybody else or anything else. And I've had my best polls, and I don't say why, but people see what's gone on in our country with this whole thing. I've been going through it for three years, for three years, all nonsense. So uh, this was a very big day for our country. This was a very big day for the Republican Party. And you could say it was a great day for me, but I don't even like to say that. It's great. I'll tell you what. I very much appreciate those incredible warriors that you watch today on television, Republicans, that defended something and defended something very powerful, very important, because they were really defending our country. More than anything else, they were defending our country. But they were warriors, and they've been warriors for a long time. The Democrats lost so big today. Their party is in shambles right now. They've got the squad leading their party. They are a mess. Where even you take a look at Scribe and you take a look at so many of the people that were the most outspoken. And they say this was a devastating day for the Democrats. And you know it, John, and everybody else knows it. This was a devastating day for the Democrats. We were. If you take a look at not only the report, beyond the report, take a look at not what he said, but what he was forced to say. And even your networks and your network and your network and your ne every one of these networks, they put up their hands. You know, we had a couple of cases with, actually we had about six cases where they asked our people, our representatives, television networks, please don't come in tonight. We're not going to be doing much on it. And the reason they're not, because it's over. Go ahead. So WikiLeaks is a hoax, just like everything else. And all of those problems having to do with crime were the biggest hoax of all. It was a witch hunt, a total witch hunt. And when you saw Robert Mueller's statement, the earlier statement, and then he did a recap. He did a correction later on in the afternoon. And you know what that correction was. And you still ask the question. You know why? Because you're fake news and you're one of the most. And let me just tell you, the fact that you even asked that question, you're fake news. Because you know what? He totally corrected himself in the afternoon. And you know that just as well as anybody. Caitlin, Caitlin. I don't know whose answers weren't. I guess his answers weren't, because if you look, the whole report, you take a look at what they did. 
some of the things that he didn't even know about, some of the things he didn't even know what was going on. But you know, in the end, what he did, he actually probably came through for himself. The performance was obviously not very good. He had a lot of problems, but what he showed more than anything else is that this whole thing has been three years of embarrassment and waste of time for our country.